Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This next video is a lesson from our one week Pardot course. If you find it useful, you can sign up for the complete course at academy.rotiv.io or by clicking the link in the description below. Scoring and grading. So in Pardot, we've got two metrics, a score and a grade to understand how important or how high quality a lead is in your system, or of course a prospect. A lot of other systems will just have one score. It'll be the lead score. And the higher the score, the better the lead is, supposedly. But that's really not telling you the whole story. And so the scoring and grading component within Pardot gives you more information, which gives you more flexibility in how you wanna deal with that particular prospect and how you should reach out to them. So we have these two metrics, a score and a grade. Let's look at Pardot here. I've pulled up a prospect record. If you look under Insight, we've got a score of 50 and a grade of B. So the score is a number, the grade is a letter. And the score, shorthand, it's an indication of how interested they are in you. How much are they interacting with your marketing materials, with your website, with your emails? The grade is more of an indication of how interested you are in them. How good of a fit are they for your business? Do they meet your standard ideal profile? Maybe that's a job title or a location. Maybe it's the size of the organization. It's those sorts of data points about that person will contribute to their grade. And so when you have both of these things together, you get the full story. How interested are they in us? And how interested are we in them? If we only had one, you could run into an issue where you're getting a lot of noise instead of signal. For example, if you've got somebody who wants to work for you, maybe they're a college student and they're trying to get an internship. Well, they should be all over your website, learning about you as they try to apply and prepare for interviews. Well, the more they interact with your website and your emails and your marketing, the more white papers they download, their scores is going to go higher and higher and higher. But if they're an intern, if they're not a potential buyer, they're a potential employee, they are not going to be a good fit. So if you pass them over to sales as a lead with a really high score saying, look at this, we've got this hot, this great, this good lead for you, they're not going to be too happy with you. Because once they pick up the phone and talk to them, they'll realize there's no potential business here. Similarly, let's say you've got somebody who has a grade of an A+. They are your perfect customer. Well, if they have an A+, and let's say they only interact with a couple of your marketing materials. Let's say they sign up for your newsletter. Maybe there's not a whole lot of points you're going to give for somebody just wanting to get a newsletter, or maybe watch a video. But if they're an A plus prospect, that's probably still worth a salesperson's time to give them a call, to reach out, to be proactive, try and get them on the phone because they are the perfect target for your services. So when you have both, you can differentiate between those situations. And of course, then there's everybody in the middle, people who have really high scores and are increasingly high grades. And, and vice versa. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. The other thing I like about grade in particular is that it'll let you see the quality of your lead generation efforts high in the funnel. So long before you're looking at pipeline or closed revenue, you can see generally how qualified, how good are the leads that we're getting from whatever the marketing effort is. Because as soon as you add them to Pardot, they're going to start getting graded based off the criteria we set up. So if you are running an ad and you're seeing that a lot of the prospects coming from that ad that you're running are getting graded as C's and D's and F's, you don't have to wait three weeks to see if anything comes from it. It's probably not the right targeting on the ad and you should proactively try and tweak that. So it's a good early indicator of marketing performance even before we start talking about pipeline and revenue. And again, these two together is really where they're powerful. So you can understand who are the best leads based off their interest in you and your interest in them. Thanks for watching that lesson from the One Week Pardot course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, you can click the link in the description below or go to academy.rotive.io. And if you did find it useful, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.